Today we're going to explore the realm of artificial intelligence in education. We'll dive into how teachers can harness the power of AI for lesson planning and teaching, while also addressing the issue of preventing students from misusing AI tools. We'll start by discussing the benefits of embracing AI for lesson planning and teaching. Artificial intelligence has the potential to revolutionize education by making it more personalized and more effective than ever before. So how can educators truly maximize the potential of AI in their classrooms? More on that in a moment. Welcome to episode 151 of the Teacher Rockstar podcast, a place where tips and strategies critical to the new teacher are discussed. We share the latest educational research and best practices so that the new teacher can be better equipped for a successful classroom experience. I'm your host, Steve Hiles. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing harnessing the power of AI for lesson planning and teaching. But before we get into today's topic, I've got a question for you. Are you a brand new teacher that just graduated right out of college? Would you be interested in having somebody to mentor and guide you as you transition from college into the classroom? Well, if that's the case, you can learn more by going to www.teacherclassroomresources.com forward slash TRA mentorship. Now, I have some important news for you. First and foremost, if you enjoy our podcast and want to stay connected with us, there are now even more ways to do so. You can find us on many popular podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Chrome, iHeartRadio, and a host of other platforms. But that's not all. We know that many of you enjoy more than just the audio experience. For additional videos, behind-the-scenes content, and to connect with me and the rest of our community, make sure to follow us on YouTube. You can find us by typing at Teacher Rockstar in the search bar, hit that subscribe button, and join in on the fun. Also, remember that we love hearing from you. Your feedback, questions, and comments are invaluable to us, and we're committed to bringing you the best content possible. So, don't hesitate to reach out through your preferred platform, whether it's leaving a review, sending us a message, or connecting with us on YouTube. Okay, let's dive right in. You know, when it comes to lesson planning, AI truly excels, okay? With its capabilities, AI-powered tools can analyze amounts of educational content and tailor materials to meet each student's unique needs and learning style. Just imagine being able to create lesson plans that perfectly cater to each student's pace, strengths, and areas that require improvement. These tools not only help educators identify knowledge gaps, but suggest resources and provide real-time feedback on teaching methods. It's like having a teaching assistant who tirelessly supports you. But wait, there's more. AI can also function as a tutor, offering assistance to students whenever they need it, even outside regular school hours. Whether students require help with homework practice problems or exam preparation, AI is readily available to support them throughout their learning journey. Now, it's worth noting that AI does not seek to replace teachers. I want to be very clear about that. Instead, it complements their efforts by providing assistance and creating a dynamic and responsive learning environment. All right. Moreover, AI has the ability to do more than just teaching. It can also streamline tasks for educators. From grading assignments to managing schedules, AI can handle aspects of these tasks. This allows teachers to focus more on their core mission, which, of course, is teaching. However, we must recognize that there are challenges associated with students using AI tools. While AI holds potential, uh, it is crucial to strike a balance between harnessing its benefits and preventing misuse. Okay? Now, addressing this issue requires an emphasis on AI literacy in education. Educators have a role in teaching students how to use AI from an early age. This involves understanding the capabilities and limitations of AI systems and being mindful of any biases in these systems. It is essential for students to understand that AI serves as a tool to enhance their learning rather than replacing their thinking and problem-solving skills. Okay, now what I'm going to be sharing here um, is six specific areas that I want to address. Number one, protecting student data. 
You know, another concern revolves around ensuring the use of student data collected by AI tools without compromising students' privacy. Schools and educational technology companies should establish protocols to safeguard data. Students' personal information should be kept secure. The use of data should solely be for educational purposes and not for commercial gain. Um, area number two, monitoring and supervision. You know, it's crucial for educators to effectively monitor and supervise students' utilization of these AI tools. How can they strike a balance between trust and oversight? Okay, so that's a good point to remember here. Maintaining communication with students plays a role. Teachers should encourage them to report any misuse of AI tools while providing guidelines on their usage. And of course, transparency and accountability are principles in ensuring the use of AI. Okay, area number three is promoting ethical behavior. It is essential to imbue students with ethics and responsibilities when using AI tools. How can we educate them about the associated implications of AI? Well, educating students about the implications of AI holds importance. Uh, they must understand the consequences of their actions and how they can contribute to the use of AI in education. All right, moving on to uh, area number four is continual professional development. Okay, ongoing professional development is crucial for educators. They need training and support to stay updated on uh, AI tools and teaching techniques, enabling them to leverage AI in their classrooms. Now, there are uh, reputable learning platforms that you could find online uh, that you could check into regarding that. All right, uh, area five is collaboration and sharing of knowledge. Collaboration among educators obviously is extremely valuable, right? Now, by establishing platforms and communities uh, where they can share their experiences and exchange practices, uh, they collectively explore ways to effectively uh, incorporate AI into teaching methodologies. Okay? Now, um, I want to share with you some AI platforms. I want you to know, however, I haven't personally vetted these, so you'll just have to make sure you do your due diligence. But these were kind of interesting here for you to kind of check into. Uh, the first one being um, Almanac. Uh, this educational-based AI tool is um, focused on creating worksheets, lesson plans, uh, slide decks, assessments, and more. Okay, this uh, plan is currently free. So I thought that was kind of interesting. The next one is BARD. Uh, now this is a uh, Google's chat bot. It uses a different language to train its bot than Bing and chat GPT. Okay, now this is up to date and can uh, return text, images, and videos. The next software um, is Bing AI. Uh, this chat box is similar to uh, to chat GPT, but it's Microsoft, you know, it's a Microsoft version. Uh, this has the option for three different conversation styles, precise, creative, and balanced. And of course, the next one I want to address is chat GPT, the original chat bot that catapulted uh, AI uh, into everyday conversation. It's important to, to note that version 3.5 is free. Okay. Um, the next one is called Concur. Now, Concur is focused on building assessments for your classrooms. Uh, in the free plan, you can build quizzes with all question types, 50 responses each, and can share five quizzes. The next is Cure, Curapod. Curapod aids users in creating interactive presentations on any subject in grade level. The interactive activities can include word, uh, word clouds, polling, drawings, uh, and open questions. Moving on to the next uh, AI software, we have Diffit. Now, Diffit is focused on creating a variety of materials based on a topic of your choice, a URL to an article or a, a text. You can uh, then choose the grade level for the materials, and it creates a reading passage, summary, vocabulary words, and assessments. And the last one I want to share with you is EduAid. AI. Now, this tool boasts that it contains over 100 resource types and learning 
objects. It includes creating class announcements, emails to parents, intervention plans, vocabulary, matching questions, think, pair, share, discussion prompts, word problems, assessments, and, and more. Okay, so there you have it. And like I said a moment ago, you know, I haven't personally vetted these, so you'll want to do your due diligence there. Now, I do want to talk to you about uh, Khan Academy. Regarding Khan Academy, I have, uh, you know, from what I read, uh, uh, I, I've read that Khan Migo, okay, and what it does, it, it seems to be very interesting, okay? Now, Khan Migo engages students in back and forth conversation peppered with questions. It's like a, a virtual Socrates, uh, guiding students through their educational journey. Like any great tutor, Khan Migo encourages productive struggle in a supportive and engaging way, which is what I kind of like. Now, Khan Migo does not, however, give students answers. And I thought that was really cool. Nobody learns anything by being given the answer. Instead, Conmigo uh, asks questions that are thought-provoking, questions that are open-ended, and most importantly, questions lead to learning. Okay? Now, this brings us to our last and final uh, area of, of discussion here today, and that's creating adaptive learning environments. Okay? Uh, lastly, it, it is crucial to develop learning environments that se seamlessly integrate AI. These environments ensure that every student receives the support and resources to thrive irrespective of their individual learning profiles. Well, there you have it. Well, my friend, we have come to the end of today's episode. Uh, always remember that AI holds potential to revolutionize education. However, it is the responsibility of educators, students, and policymakers to ensure its use. Thanks for listening to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, and we hope you've gotten a golden nugget or two regarding harnessing the power of AI for lesson planning and teaching. When you get a moment, visit our website at teacherclassroomresources.com and sign up for our newsletter for the latest educational research and best practices. And while you're there, grab yourself our monthly product download for free. If you found this episode helpful, please consider subscribing, leaving a review, and sharing it with your fellow educators. If you have any questions or suggestions for episodes, please don't hesitate to reach out. The Teacher Rockstar podcast drops a new episode every Wednesday, so be sure to be on the lookout for it. Thanks again, and we'll see you same time, same place next week. And remember, my friend, you got this.